What is up my friends? I'm back here again with another video and um, this time around I am going to open up a bunch of stuff that I got by mail yesterday. I got this big old box. I got Amazon Prime, some Amazon stuff here and um, of course something from Limited Run Games. Always uh, bringing stuff. But before I show you guys what I picked up, I'm gonna talk about a couple, some uh, about six movies that I saw within the past week, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know what I think about them and whether they were good or not. And of course, I'm gonna start off with a movie that was nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and this is called uh, Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Um, this was a really, really, really well done movie. I really, really like this. And um, it's with, of course, award winning actress Frances McDormand. Um, you, you probably remember her from her uh, role as the cop in Fargo. A uh, classic, a really, really good movie from the Coen Brothers. But, um, of course, Sam Rockwell and Willie ha Woody Harrelson are, are also in this really fantastic movie um actually the one that won the one that won best picture was um the shape of water which i did see that like a couple of weeks ago and honestly i really think this this movie was a lot better than shape of water but um anyways yeah this was a really really good movie has has a mixture of a lot of emotional stuff going on and you know basically what the what it is about it's about um uh something terrible was done to her daughter and obviously justice wasn't served and um she rents out three billboards and you know they each of them say a message you know concerning to the the law enforcement and what's what they haven't done about the situation she's going through and um francis mcdormand's character is like really really she's really a badass and um like people try to fuck around with her because of the billboards that she's putting up but she don't give a f she doesn't care like she's all out and she's a really badass in this movie woody harrison's character is really good and um a lot of a lot of things happen that you don't expect that they're gonna happen but they do happen and it just goes around and it delivers a lot of crazy twists and a lot of um cool stuff that it that 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 happens here um, very well made. The acting was phenomenal. The, the, the setting was really, really cool. It felt, it, you know, it's in a small town and you could tell it's a small town even though it's, the year was, uh, you know, it was based on, on current time. But, um, yeah, you know, and it's, it's, it's really, it was a really good, uh, movie. And of course the Blu-ray brings, um, a couple of special features here deleted scenes and crucifying crucifying was the making of the movie so that's pretty cool but the be the the best thing the best extra on, on this dvd was that it has a a short a short film in it and it's called the uh, six shooter and it was like a like a like a 25 minute uh, short film by the same director and it was a really cool short film like those 30 minutes were 25 30 minutes i don't remember what it was it was a really cool film i think it was like irish it was it was in ireland but um very very well put um short film included on the blu-ray um the short film is called the uh, six shooter and uh of course uh directed by martin Mc mcdonough which is the the director here um, I highly recommend this if you haven't seen it. You know, I don't want to spoil too much about it, but it was a really fantastic movie. Three billboards outside, outside Ebbing, Missouri. I highly recommend this. Very, very good movie. Then I saw yesterday, I actually saw this one yesterday. It's called Madhouse. And to this day, I can't believe I've never seen this. This is the first time of me ever watching this. This movie was really, really, really good. And, um... The story was great. The acting was really, really good. This movie was made in 1981. So this movie is really, really old. And the transfer, the Arrow 
Arrow made here, Arrow video made for this movie, was phenomenal. Fantastic transfer. This movie is also called, uh, well, um, and when, it has a couple of names outside of the United States. Um, it's called, and when she was bad, and then it has another name called, there was a little girl. So, what it is, is a, it's a mixture of like a slasher film with, it has a lot of, of Italian horror elements. So, it feels like it's an Italian horror movie, but it really isn't. It was filmed in Savannah, Georgia. And I believe all the actors and actresses were American. But, really, really good movie. The, the, the this, this movie made it to the video nasties from, um, you know, Britain. So, from, from the UK. So, it was, it was banned in the UK. Um, it's, it's pretty gruesome. I mean, it wasn't constantly gruesome. Like, it wasn't like a lot of blood and all that stuff, but... Well, there was a lot of blood, but it wasn't just constant. It had it, it had it, its uh, gruesome parts, but it was phenomenal. It was really, really good. The story about the twin sisters and one of them controls the, this crazy ass Rottweiler. That those scenes with the Rottweiler, you know, attacking people are brutal. And but this was really, really, really fun. Really, really good horror movie from 1981. That doesn't really feel like it was an outdated movie. It doesn't feel like it's an old movie. I mean, you can tell it's an old movie, but the transfer made it seem so, so good that I really enjoyed it. This is uh, from the producer and director Ol Olvidio Asonotis. I'm, I'm butchering his name here. But, yeah, Olvidio Asonotis. And this is the guy that made The Visitor and Piranha Part 2, The Spawning. And um, it, this, this is packed with awesome uh, extra features here. Um, it has the, an interview with the actress um, Edith Ivy, which she plays the land, the landlady, the landlord. Um, she was really, really w w weird, um, you know. And uh, it also has a interview with the director. It has an inter interview with the cine 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 the cinematographer. Um, it has, a, of course. Arrow video puts out the best. And it's a double double two disc. This is the Blu-ray. This is the regular DVD. Of course, it's gonna have a booklet. A really cool booklet with a with a bunch of uh, notes and and um, pictures of the of the film. Um, this is kind of like um. It's kind of like the story of the director and how he became about. And awesome, awesome, awesome acting. It was really, and then the reverse, the reversible artwork. Very, very nice, very well put out by, by um, Arrow Video. And um, what else can I say about this? Like, I, I don't want to spoil it, but I really highly recommend this. This, this kept me awake the whole time. It was really, really awesome movie I can't I can't talk I can't say anything better you know this was really really good I, I, I really enjoyed Madhouse then I saw this one it was kind of tough to watch because you know it's very outdated very very old this is from Code Red and it's called Baby Needs a New Pair of Shoes and this is a, like a black gangster movie um, it was really funny it was really fun um, but it was tough to watch because it was like so old and it had oh, cheesiness all over it. But it was alright. I mean, I really liked it. Um, Cold Red release, of course. And this is, I believe, from 1970... 70-something, 70-something, 70, 70, 70, 70. Well, it doesn't even say what year this is made. But this was really, really old. And, um... Code Red tried their best to, you know, amp it up and made it into a pretty decent Blu-ray. Transfer is alright. Um, and, uh, yeah, it has an all-star cast here of uh, great um, old-school actors. You know, it has Paul Harris and Francis William. Uh, you know, but, yeah, the story is, like, basically, it's a, it's a, it's a gangster uh sleazy gangster uh movie here um yeah so that was that then i got here 
I, for the first time ever I saw this movie, it's called Eraserhead. I've heard very good things about this. And when I saw it, I was like, it was, it was pretty creepy. It was, it was kind of weird. At first I thought it was like a silent movie because they took forever to talk. And then, you know, they did, they did say a couple of things, but they don't, they don't speak too much in this movie. And of course, this is directed by David Lynch. So, you know, it's going to be kind of weird. All the, you know, most of the stuff that he does is like weird stuff. But yeah, it was really, really cool and very different. 1977. This is uh, David Lynch's uh, debut, uh, you know, um, film, like the, the um, long feature it. And then um, this is packed with, this is the Criterion release. So it has a bunch of cool stuff. It has a bunch of um, six short films by David Lynch. Um, his very first one from 1967 it's called six men get six men getting sick then in 1968 the alphabet 1970 the grandmother uh, 1974 the amputee versions one and two and the last one he has here was from 1995 premonition following an evil deed they're all they're all shown with introductions by David Lynch so it's, it's a pretty cool um, feature in here it has this this huge uh, book see when you open it if you guys don't have this has it shows this and then it shows this in the back which is really cool and then this is the disc and the interior art design and then here we got the a, a pretty pretty book big book here and it has a uh, 65 pages and basically what it is it's an interview with David Lynch which is pretty cool I I only read I'm, I'm gonna be honest I only read like some parts of it you know I didn't read the whole entire booklet but um yeah it's pretty entertaining and you know a lot of cool stuff he says in the interview so yeah so this is a criterion release very 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 clean very very well put very very well presented I think one of the best Criterion releases out there. Of course, this was a very weird movie. And, yeah, it's kind of like a horror movie. Um, I mean, I don't want to spoil... I don't I don't like to, to spoil movies for you guys. But, like, I'll tell you whether it's good or not. And if you guys are into weird, obscure um, videos and you appreciate the dark art, you know, for sure you're going to like this. This was uh, very, very good. So yeah, Eraserhead, then I got this one from Kino Lorber, and this is in 1987, this is called No Man's Land with Charlie Sheen and D.B. Sweeney, um, Randy Quaid is also in it, very, very good movie, um, super 80-ish, uh, of course, 1987, what can you say, what can you say about that, it, it, and it's, I, I felt like they got a lot of when they did Fast and the Furious, they, they picked up a lot from this movie because it has a lot of elements of Fast and the Furious. It's just like, it's a huge promotion for uh, um, Porsches because all they, all, they, all they steal were, were Porsche cars. So yeah, it was a lot of uh, cool chase scenes and, and car scenes, you know, going at a high mile, high, high mile. Um, this is uh, the story of, it's basically a story about a cop infiltrating um, Charlie Sheen's uh, um, system and how he steals cars and then to finally bring him down. But then they become really friends and then the D.B. Sweeney's character, which is a cop, falls in love with Charlie Sheen's sister and then they have like a romance going on. So it's kind of very, dr a lot of drama happens in there and um, it's kind of hard for him to betray Charlie Sheen's character because they they were really good friends and you know a lot of shit happens but you know at the end of the day D.B. Sweeney's character was a cop and he had to do what he had to do so but it was very enjoyable very very good movie um very well acted it, it's not outdated like it, you could watch it now and be and be really um really enjoy it um yeah, so the Fast and the Furious took a lot from this, and you can tell. And but this is this is this is really really good. I highly recommend this if you haven't seen it. 
No Man's Land with Charlie Sheen, TV Sweeney. And then the last one I saw, um, it's uh, The Price of Fame with Ted DiBiase. It's basically the, the, the Million Dollar Man, if you guys are into wrestling. It's a Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase story. And um, it focuses a lot on the time when, you know, like the, like the, eight, the late 80s when he was pretty much on top of the WWF. And he, um, the main focus on the movie was basically him cheating on his wife and the kids, you know, trying to forgive him and trying to get over it and all that stuff. So it, it becomes very dramatic. But, you know, I guess they had to talk about it. There was a lot of... Uh, wrestlers from his time that that were featured in this you know in this dvd you had um the late roddy piper roddy roddy piper you had you had um sean michaels you had terry funk hacksaw jim duggan lex luger a bunch of guys here talking about ted dibiase in my opinion one of the greatest heels one of the greatest villains of all time for wrestling um it was a good documentary if you guys are into wrestling and you guys are into um ted dibiase um, picked this up at Walmart for like 10 bucks and I'm glad that it's, it's non W it's a non WWE release. So they're able to say and talk whatever they want to say. And yeah, it was really good. And now to open up the goods, let's see what I picked up because I don't even remember half of the shit I ordered. Let's time to open the shit up. Let's open the Amazon Prime one. Hope, hope I don't cut my finger with this thing over here. And the first thing... Alright, this is really, really nice. It's just one thing. And this is the Arrow release of none other than Wes Craven's The Last House on the Left. Really, really excited about this. This is a three disc limited edition, which has a, a, a brand new 2K re restoration of the, of the movie. Fucking really, really badass. Look at all that love that, that Arrow puts into this. And um, I, I did see this a very, very long time ago. This is the original last house on the left. Um, way better than the remake because in my opinion, like the remake had this cast of like a bunch of pretty boys what what it, what it is it's basically a rape story but they, but in the in the remake they had a bunch of little pretty boys raping this girl nah but in the original one they have some ugly ass motherfuckers raping this girl and doing all this crazy shit to this girl so i i, I prefer the original because it adds that to it that that these nasty ugly guys are raping this girl but Whatever, it is what it is, time changes, and, you know, everybody has to be, you know, pretty on TV and all that shit. But, um, yeah, this is, this is a badass set. The box set is really, really nice, really sturdy. So, and it, it you know, it has a bunch of, let's see what it has in here. I'm going to open it for you guys and see what it includes because it looks pretty thick in there. So... Um, opening this bit, this sucker up. Packed with extras, man. This shit. Look at all those extras here. I mean, I could keep on all day. So it has a poster. This is the. The, the poster and this is the original, I'm assuming, the original poster for the house on the left. Really, really cool. And then it has this huge, huge booklet. It's over 50 pages, 59 pages. This is the, the last house on the left, the booklet with a lot of uh, notes and a lot of... Uh, Oh man, look at that. A lot of notes and a lot of um, pictures and stuff. So yeah, they put a lot of love into this. And of course, the three disc set. Pretty crazy, huh? A lot of special features on Blu-ray and DVD. 
Of course, Arrow Video is putting this out, but it's an MGM movie. This is the original side. They want to keep the original, just in case you want to flip it. Um, so yeah, so I'm really happy. I can't wait to see this, this uh, cleaned up version of it. And um, yeah, the, so this is the last, this is a special edition of the last house on the left. Really can't wait to see how clean how clean they 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 um I hope it's not that clean because I like what I liked about the original was the like the 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 dirtiness of it. It was it was a really really fuck, fucked up film. And then it also has uh postcards here. They all have the same the same back, but then they have different um things here. So you can see it has this one. This is a very memorable scene with, with him in the, with this guy in the um, chainsaw. Then you got this one, really cool postcard here. And you got this. And then you got this one. And this is like the gang, the, the gang of people that, that do the crazy, crazy fucked up shit to this girl. And of course, our little catalog thing. So you could, so you could see um all the you know some some other um titles that they have available. Arrow to me is one of the best companies out there. Along with the uh, Shot Factory and and um, Vinegar Syndrome, Vestron. I like all those companies. Anyways, I'm really excited over this. Um. Really happy with the with the release, uh, the, the poster, the book. Can't complain about the, this. And um, yeah, so ah, fuck it. So yeah, the last house on the left finally released on Arrow Video. Really happy about that. Then time to open this big box and see what the hell did I pick up? Because I honestly I don't remember. So, there's a bunch of titles here, and they're all from Kino, so yeah, I did order, I remember I ordered some stuff from Kino Classics, Kino Lorber, uh, it's a really good website, and they're not that expensive, so let me show you guys what I picked up, I picked up this movie with Michael Dukakis, and this is called River of Death, from 1989, super, super cool action movie here can't wait to see that one then I got Burt Reynolds in Malone this is 1987 another Kino release can't wait to see this hopefully the transfer is really good I remember seeing this movie all the time in the video store I used to go to so that's gonna bring back memory this is Love at Large with Tom Berenger and this is another 80s movie well actually no 1990 but um, it has that 80s vibe I did see this a long time ago Really cool movie. Kino puts up awesome shit. Then uh, another 1988. Chuck Norris. You gotta you gotta have your Chuck Norris here. This is the hero on the terror. I remember watching this as a kid. Wasn't my favorite Chuck Norris movie, but I think I got I picked this up for like six, seven bucks. So yeah, I think it's worth it. And then I got here The Heart of Midnight. I have no idea what this is, but 1989 and a Kino movie. Had to pick it up. Um, yeah, so got that one. And then I got The Couch Trip with Dan Aykroyd and Walter Matthau. This is 1988. Um, an Orion release. So it's got to be pretty funny, pretty cool. It looks, it looks all right. Then I've heard good stuff about this one, so I can't wait to watch this one. This one's called Cherry 2000. Never seen it. This is from 1987. And everyone talks really good about this one, so I, I'm, I'm really interested in watching this. Um, this one has some cool special features, like the making of an interview, interviews with Tim Thomerson, um, one of the actors here. So yeah, definitely, Cherry 2000. Then I got this one called 
Slam Dance, 1987. These are all Kino, Kino movies, really, really cool. So 1987, um, Slam Dance. And the last one here is called The Taking of Beverly Hills. This is from 1991 and it's super cheesy action. So yeah, I'm definitely excited for all of these that I picked up from Kino, from the Kino website. Awesome shit. And my last thing is to open this sucker up, which is the video game. Let's see what video game I, I picked up here. All right, so I got the Ace of Seafood. I don't remember ordering this, but the Ace of Seafood, which is like obviously a fishing game. And here we go. So yeah, it's a limited run, number 142. And I hate it when I get a video game and it sounds like this. That means the disc is going all over the place. I don't like that. But anyways, can't help it. And also I did get, they also include the limited run trading card also included with the game. So guys, this is it for the video. My favorite thing that I picked up, obviously the last house on the left, really, really badass movies, really cruel, really brutal to watch. Um, but it's packed with awesome special features. And of course they're directed by Wes Craven. Awesome, awesome fucking movie. I highly recommend this. And my the favorite movie that I saw had ha, has to be. Man, I really like. I really loved Madhouse. Madhouse was really really good. Fantastic movie. But when it comes to really well done movie, Three Billboards. This movie was freaking fantastic. If you haven't seen this, get out of your chair. Go to your red box. Go to wherever you watch your movies, and pick this up because this was really really good and um you know this is a uh, release by 20th century fox um excellent excellent movie all right guys so until next time i hope you guys like this video and you know i'm just gonna keep on making videos until uh, see what happens um i really uh you know like the fact that i can show you guys what I'm picking up and what I've seen. So hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.